Hi guys, happy Sunday. It is a lazy Sunday. It's currently 12.30 and I'm just gonna have some lunch. I think I'm gonna have a salad. Fit Life Foods was also delivered because I'm working with them um, on a video. They just sent me food and some of their new meals that they have on their menu. So I'm excited to try some of those. I'm gonna try them um, in the next video though because I'm filming a week in my life. Um, so I'm gonna start that video tomorrow just to give you guys um, some different content. I don't know, but most of it is gonna be like trying the food. But right now I'm going to just fix my salad, eat, I don't know what else we're gonna do today. I have this like cool selfie thing. Uh, it's like a tripod that like tracks you, tracks your like face and movement um, that I kinda wanna try out. So maybe we'll do that. And also Valerie's cooking tonight, shake and bake chicken and um, green beans and corn. So I'll probably end up vlogging a lot of that as well. I just wanted to run down today's plan. There's not like a big plan today because I just want to take it easy this weekend. I don't know. I just haven't had like just some downtime to just watch videos, be on social media, like all of that, like not worry about anything. Oh, I also have to edit um, Tuesday's video, the vlog I did yesterday. But that's only the only like really big thing that I have to do today is just edit that video. But I'll probably like wait <laughs> To do that until like later tonight because I procrastinate kind of sometimes on the videos. for the lighting it's just orange i fixed myself a cup of coffee because it is a little chilly today here in orlando got my almond milk here just gonna watch probably like one video and then i'm going to edit my video my little vlog get that up for you guys not today but so it'll be up on Tuesday. There's something wrong with our Keurig where it doesn't like fill up all the way, like the large. I don't know, there's something wrong with it. I guess it's been doing that for a while. So I'm thinking, and I really wanna convince my mom to get like an espresso so like I can fix myself like more fancier beverages. So if you guys know anything about Nespresso or like own one, let me know your thoughts because I am genuinely curious and I don't know, I just really want one. I don't know, it's just not just black coffee. Even though my mom only just drinks black coffee, which I don't know how she does because I gotta have some flavors, you know what I mean? So anyway, tastes good, looks good. I really wish though that there was like some vanilla flavor. So I think the next almond milk I'm gonna have my mom get will be the vanilla one. Just so we could like add a little something to this beverage because it just needs some flavor. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think that's about it. Let me know your thoughts on Nespresso. And video is done and uploading. I am just waiting for it to upload, but I wanted to Kind of make it like have a title because I actually kind of like how this video turned out so I kind of just gave it this title uh, because my other ones are like okay and they're still getting okay views but I kind of want something you know a little bit more drastic so we went with this title. Now I'm just gonna wait for that to upload and I can like clear out everything now because the video is already done. I am so cozy here guys. It was definitely a couch editing day and I'm kind of living for it. Okay, so I've been relaxing. I'm actually watching this live stream of Amanda and doing like her crystal sales. Um, I always watch it on my iPad because it's just more convenient so I can like exit out of the app like on my phone. Like I won't 
be on Instagram the entire time. But I've been wanting to unbox this and like try it out for the longest time. Um, I got this in December, like early December, because it was a Secret Santa, well not Secret Santa, it was the White Elephant game that I got from my work party. So I'm gonna try it out and like see, watch. I have a feeling like this requires batteries and the batteries don't come with it. So this will be like a total fail if that's the case. And then I'll be like, oh my gut was right, you know? It's called a track cam. Face tracking, 360 infinite rotation. That's what it's called. And you can just like set it up, which is really cool. So hopefully it's pretty easy to use. So you can like screw it on a tripod too, which is really nice. Like there's the little um, screw thing. It requires batteries. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Um, I'm gonna see if we have batteries. I don't know if we do. I think it just takes double a so we we probably have these so i'm gonna go check okay so my mom got me some batteries well actually no i did um but it was really funny because she was i was like oh do we have batteries and she's like yeah it's in battery buddy and i was like what the heck is that so we got the batteries she was like oh yeah it's in battery buddy and i'm like what so okay it turns on that's pretty cool and it's a Bluetooth thing, so I'm assuming we just have to like pair it. Oh my gosh, it's turning! Do you guys see that? I don't know if you see it. So you need to download this app. Um, it is Live360, and I guess we can start pairing? Okay, so I got it on the camera and now I'm gonna put my phone in here and let's see if this actually like tracks my face. Whoa. <laughs> so it works, but like it follows you just a little bit. Hold on. Let me turn this thing around. I'm just gonna, cause I want the power button to be in the front. So basically it does track you. Can you see that? I don't know if you can tell. Here, I'll do it like this. So you guys can see the phone actually turning. So I think it's pretty fun. It just like goes back and forth. And then you can like turn it, I think. You can turn it like to the side like this. So it does track your face like, but if I turn this around and like ask it for me to like find my face, like, oh, actually it does turn. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but it does go all the way around. It goes the opposite way too. You can like see. Yeah, you can kind of see. I'm trying to like make sure you guys can see too. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I tested it out on camera just cause like I wanted to see how it worked. Ow, ow. <laughs> I just pinched myself. I wanted to see how it worked and it's pretty neat. Like, especially for probably like how much it costs. Like it's a cute little thing. And then it flashes red here to like let you know that it's not connected anymore. I don't know. Oh, there we go. I turned it off now. That is pretty much it for the little life, the little selfie 360 gadget. It's pretty cute. If you guys wanted a tripod for like making videos and stuff on your phone, this is actually really good. So I definitely, it's a thumbs up for me. Valerie's cooking dinner tonight. Yes, the people at Fresh Market, which I love Fresh Market. Oh, they can all see the attractive fever blister on my... No, it's pretty far. I okay, can't see that's... anything. Anyway, the people at Fresh Market were kind enough to wrap this so that it would stay good for today, since I bought the chicken yesterday. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to demonstrate the shake and bake technique. Well, you always have really good skin on the chicken, so... I know, well, that's I... my favorite uh, part. I know that. And, see... I must tell the camera, though, shake and bake isn't really cooking. No. Shake and bake is just like a convenience item. But it tastes really good. It does. So it, it doesn't does. matter if it's real or not. It's real when it hits my it, it's mouth. It's not like I'm like frying chicken from scratch. Yeah, no. Also, too, frying stuff like just really, really clogs the arteries. I guess baking it doesn't clog it as much, eh? Not as much. All right. So to, to demonstrate, I've yes. turned this one up. I take a piece of chicken and 
I ran a little water on it, cold water. I'm not sure if that's cold. I think actually that's yeah. Hot. No, that's get, hot. That's hot. That side's hot. Yep. I always get confused. No, that side's cold. Yep. Especially in Florida when <laughs> you don't really ever have like really cold water. Okay. Then you after you shake it off, then you put it in the bag and you shake it off. And you make sure that it's nice and well coated. Yes, then, the coating is so important. That's the most important part. That's right. And then you put it on a cookie sheet like so. Yep. Oh, you have the oven to set to 400? I do. I have the oven set to 400. I'm also cooking bacon over here for my green beans. Yum. This meal always smells so good. So, and then how long do they stay in the oven? For 40 to 45 minutes. Oh. I will probably cook these for 45 because these are very big pieces. The butcher had to cut these for me because they only had chicken quarters, which was the thigh and the leg, but they were very large. So I had him only cut three, mm -hmm. since I usually only eat one thigh anyway. But that means we have to watch out for bones. And you have your three, three legs. So here we go. Here's chicken. <laughs> Here's shaking big chicken. Shaking, shaking, shaking. And I helped. <laughs> okay. Sherry's home from work. She's kind of tired, so not a lot to say with her. Anyway. Can we put this back on here? Thank you, Valerie. And then we can take, and what do we, let's do a leg. All right, let's do a leg. Okay. So again. These are big legs, too. Yeah, I love it when they're big. We got three big legs, baby. <laughs> I swear, this is actually Valerie's personality. She really doesn't just put it on for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and that wasn't even in fast motion. That was in my motion. Yep. And here it is. Fast motion. Beautiful, Valerie. Beautiful. Hi, right, these are so good. Okay, so whatever I have left over, I just sprinkle on top. And now we're gonna put this in. I'm gonna put it in for 45 minutes because it is there's a very big pieces of chicken. So true. So I'm gonna do a timer. Five. Do my bacon, and then we'll clean corn here in a few minutes. Sherry is enjoying the Serenoni blanket. I love it. Oh my god, it's so soft. One so out of soft. ten. What do you rate it? Ten. <laughs> Absolutely a ten. <laughs> so our chicken just got out. I'm going to start eating. Valerie hasn't served everyone else yet, but I'm going to start eating. Look how good this looks. And then these are just my green beans. We just keep them in the foils and stuff just to keep them like nice and warm while like, you know, you're eating the other stuff. So... Anyway, gonna just dig in. Mother's meals came out looking good, looking good.